Hi, this is Russell Stannard from teachertrainingvideos.com. So many people ask me, Russell, how do you set up classes in Quizlet? Quizlet allows you to create a class and your students can join that class and then any sets of cards that you create or share with that class, all of the students have got immediate access to them. So if you're working in a classroom environment, then this is absolutely indispensable. It's going to save you lots of time. It's very easy to do. It's a bit more of an advanced feature. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how it looks for the teacher and how it looks for the students so that you see both sides of the equation. Let's get into it then, working with classes in Quizlet. And please, if you like the video, don't forget to share it with other teachers. Please comment or ask me any questions and please click on the like button. Let's get started. Okay, so first I'm going to show you how to create a class, then I'm going to show you how you can get your students to join your class, and then I'm going to show you how you add content to your class. Now, if you're on the home page of Quizlet, on the left-hand side, you should see that you have a little section here where you can add folders. It normally says create a folder, and you should also see one here that says join or create a class. So I'm going to click on this button here because I'm going to create a class. I'm going to give my class a name. So, um, in fact, what I want to do here, be careful, we're not going to join or create a class. I'm going to click on this button here. Okay, so the one below, because we're creating a class, I'm going to give it a, the, the name Teacher Training Videos New Class. Okay, and I'm just going to put that this is for people who, who are accessing me on teachertrainingvideos.com. I'm going to click on Nile, and now I'm going to click on Create Class. Uh, that creates my class immediately. Now, one obvious way straight away of getting other people to join your class is simply to copy this link here. Okay, if I copy that link and then share it with the students, then they can join the class. That would be one way. And let me show you what actually happens if a student uh, copies that link and writes it in. Let's take you through that. So I'm logged in on another browser here. I'm just going to paste that link in and click on, click on enter. And then the class, Teacher Training Videos, new class comes up and I can click on join class and click on this button here. And that will allow me to join the class. If I click on that, just to show you what will happen, okay, uh, you can now see that I'm in that class, uh, add a new study set. I'm waiting now for the study sets to be added. At the moment, the teacher hasn't added any study sets. So you can see that's one really simple way of joining the class. Simply share the link with the students, and that way they can simply access the class, and then, of course, wait for you to share study sets. Now another way to join the class, and probably an easier way, is simply tell your students to go on to search. And all they need to do is click on teacher training videos. It's probably enough just to literally write that. Do a search. And what's going to happen in that search is it's going to bring up uh, lots of different things. But if we click here, we can choose classes. So we're going to change our search that we are searching for a class. And there it is. There is our class. We can click on there and we can request to join the class. That is the best way. Simply tell the students to search by clicking on the search button here to search for your class and then make a request. Now, if we jump back and quickly look at the teacher's view, we can see that one student, Tom Stannard, has requested to join the class and I can just simply click on accept and now Tom Stannard has joined the class. So best way is create a class, Tell the students to search for the name, to go onto Quizlet and to search for the name, request to join the class, you accept them as members. Now we've only got one final thing to do, how are we going to make sure that our students have got content to study? Now that's really simple, you simply click on add study sets and you'll have all the study sets that you've ever created and you can simply choose one and I'm going to click on this one here which I uh, actually created in an earlier video that I was making and I'm going to click on this one here and those study sets are now automatically added to that class and so therefore now if we log back in as the student 
we can see that those two study sets are now available for the student to actually study from. So this way, really easily, come to the weekend, say to the students, right, we want you to study X study set. We just simply give them the study set to study, and that way, then they can study at the weekend, etc. Now, what about, just as a really quick one, if you were creating a new set of cards? So let's just jump back and create a new set and then show them show you how we would then share those with the students. So I'm going to click on create and I'm just going to really do this very quickly. So I'm going to call this new study set uh, um, May 2019. We'll just literally put in a couple of cards into the study set. So just really going to do this very, very quickly. Let me just put that there. Uh, come down to here and in fact I've got a study set here that uh, I was working with earlier so um, just to make life easy I'm just to, sh to show you how easy this is to when you click on the create button and you create the study set you have the option to add it to a class or folder as soon as you created a new set of cards click on add to class or folder and you can then choose whether or not you wanted to add it to a class or you wanted to add it to a folder I'm going to add it to my teacher training videos new class and immediately those students get those cards. So that's when you create a new card and you want to immediately, or sorry, a new set of cards and you want to immediately share them with your class. Hope I've made that clear. One final thing that people often ask me, well, how do you uh, leave a class? Um, and there are two ways, depending on if it's from the teacher's point of view or from the student's point of view. Let's just have a quick look at that. So coming to your classes over here, just click on the right, it will give up your list of classes, click on the classes, and one thing that you'll notice straight away is that you can click on the members, and you can always just right click and remove a member from the class if you want to do that. That's one thing you can do, and if you're a student, I'm just gonna jump over, Let's um, we're logged in as a student here, it's also possible for a student to leave a class. So again, coming down to your classes, click on the class, and you should find that if you click over here on the right hand side, drop the class, you can drop the class, you can leave the class. Really hope you found that video useful. Please like it, please share it, please comment on it if you've got any questions, if you wanna know any more information. Really useful to know that, it really does make your life uh, a lot easier and thank you very much. I really hope you found that video useful. Please come to teachertrainingvideos.com, lots more free material. I deal with all sorts of tools here at the top and that includes Quizlet with a complete introductory course. Uh, below you've got stuff about different themes, flip classroom, feedback, autonomous learning. If you want to keep up with my work, two things that you can do. Firstly, if you want to know about all the latest content, best thing is to sign up to my newsletter. That way you'll learn about all my courses, you'll learn about uh, any articles I've written, you'll also learn about uh, any new videos that I've created. And uh, the other thing to do is to sign up to my YouTube channel. It's really growing. I think we're up to around 7,000 followers. Don't forget to click on the bell. If you click on the bell, that way you will be told when new videos have been uploaded. And thank you very much. And finally, if you'd like to continue your studies, I've provided you with three links to three sets of videos that I think you might find interesting. And thank you very much.